Hey, what's up you guys? It's Mark Charles back with another review and uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of two of my uh, favorite products and, uh, and kind of helping you decide which one might be best for you. Um, because there are a few different dif uh, there's a few differences between them both and uh, you know when you're spending um, the cost of these products you really want to get the best one that's right for you so we are reviewing if you can see already the Apple AirPods Pro and the brand new as of released about a week or two ago Bose quiet comfort earbuds um, and you know these are pretty much the two um, great pairs to compare at the right level um, at the moment uh, of the newest ones that are on the market and look lovely. Um, as you know, these came out a week or two ago. Uh, the AirPod Pros did come out um, a bit uh, bit further away. They were maybe about a, a half a year to a year or so. Um, however, they are definitely comparable and uh, I'm gonna tell you all about them. So, to start off, here we go. You've got the packaging. Uh, Apple is always fantastic with their packaging and make a lovely little product um, and those are definitely there as well um, but that's not the important part so let's get them open and I can show you about them uh, and everything inside. So let's start with the Apple AirPods Pro, AirPod Pros. So if you open up them just like this you will see um, that immediately um, you have uh, everything on here so let me show you. So first of all, you have the little Apple uh, Apple. We'll come back to these in a second. Uh, Apple booklet, and then underneath you have the Apple AirPod Pros, which look lovely. They're so slim, so small, um, and they are very nice. Uh, now let's just take these out, and we'll come back to them in a minute or so. Um, the rest of the things you have in the packet, uh, Apple amazingly always makes everything lovely with their packaging. Um, you can see the they have the Apple um, charger uh, right here. Um, which is a very nice charger. It's a USB-C to lightning um, port on the actual device, uh, but these do have the, um, the charging mat capability as well. So you can place them on a charging mat um, and they will charge. And right in here as well, you have um, the different sizes of uh, ear tips um, for the AirPod Pros as well. Um, they have small, medium and large. Uh, currently, we have the smallest ones on here, uh, but we do have medium and large, which look just like that on there. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's get the product um, straight uh, straight to the product, so you can see the most important part, and uh, you can see what we think of them and, and how they perform as well. Uh, but most importantly, how they're going to perform to the bows. Okay, so. The Apple AirPod Pros are a really small little case. Look at that, they are beautiful, they really are. Um, they have a little light on the front that tells you when they're charging. Uh, it's orange when they're charging or green when they're fully charged. And you can just pop it open just like this, um, which is really, really nice. Um, both of the AirPod uh, Pros are gonna just slot out. They've got a little mag mag magnetic holder, uh, but if you pull it out just like that, that's how they kind of come out, one and two, uh, nice and simple and easy. Um, and the same way to put them in um, is they just click in with the magnetic charge, just like that. As you can see, fantastic, really sleek, just like that, and the top closes too. So you can see just how nice these are designed. You know, Apple products always hold up to the top design quality, uh, and you can really see it uh, with these with the AirPod Pros here, okay? We'll come to those in a second, uh, and, and the sound quality and everything like that. But let's first open up the Bose Quiet Comfort uh, earbuds. Okay, so once again, uh, let's get these open. Um, we can open them just like this. Take off the little top. Bose have also done a very good job at designing this. Um, it's not quite as sleek as the Apple, but you know, just the packaging. Uh, it's the product that matters the most. Um, but just to show you. This is how these look over here. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. They are beautiful. They are so nice and they stand out really well. So, you know, a little bit larger packaging, but, uh, but they do look great when you open them. Uh, these are the Bose headphones. Uh, we'll come back to them in a second. Let's show you what else we get. Okay, very similar to the, uh, the uh, AirPod Pros. You're gonna get the little uh, kind of instruction packet uh, here with a few pieces of information. 
Um, we'll come back to that. And uh, then you have the different size tips. We have one, which is small. We have three, which is large, and two, which is medium. Um, and then you have a USB-C um, uh, charger in here as well. So you can charge them um, nice and quickly with, with all your new devices that are gonna be using the USB-C as well. Okay, all right, so let's pop this uh, to the side. Uh, that's everything that we receive in the, in the Bose. Um, and let's get to the actual uh, products themselves so we can show you um, what they are like. Okay, so let's show you the differences. Uh, as you can see, uh, both of them are very kind of small cases. Um, the bows are much smaller than the previous um, uh, sound sport um, headphones that they have. So it's something I was waiting for for a very long period of time. I wanted a smaller case. Um, and actually the Apple are um, AirPod Pros compared to the AirPods are also smaller as well. Um, but when you compare both of these, you can actually see that the AirPod Pros for portability definitely take the win because they are much smaller um, than the Bose um, Quiet Comforts. Um, however, believe it or not, there's 12 hours of extra battery life with the Bose, but there's around about, I think they advertise on the website, you get a total of 24 hours uh, with these ones, and it's about 20 hours or so um, for the case. So a smaller case, more, ba more battery, um, in terms of portability and, and the battery life um, of the actual cases, uh, the AirPod Pros definitely win with that one. Uh, however, let's get them open and show you a little bit more. Um, okay, so the bows open just like this. You can see when we pop them open, they are just like this. They are really, really lovely. They look very nice the minute you open them, uh, and as do the apples, okay? Now, uh, in the Bose um, uh, kind of case, you can see it's a really nice rubber uh, finish here, which holds them in really nice and, uh, and tightly and secure and snug. Um, so that's something which is a nice little addition rather than just plastic. Um, and then um, they have little magnets that hold them in just like this as well. So I'm gonna bring these out. Um, and we're going to bring out the AirPod Pros uh, as well. And I'll tell you a little bit about both them together. Okay. All right. Both of these um, cases as well do have a little button to connect the Bluetooth. It's in the center here and it's on the back of the AirPod Pros. And the good thing about that is to connect them to, connect, to, connect them to your phone is really simple, really easy. Um, the bows go through the, um, the Bluetooth uh, uh, Pod on your phone, settings, Bluetooth, and you can connect them straight away. Whereas the AirPod Pros, uh, you can actually put them just straight up to your phone. And uh, on an iPhone, for example, it will pop up and let you know um, that they're nearby and to connect. So the Apple AirPod Pros are a little bit better with connect uh, with with the connectivity um, and uh, kind of connect them to your phone quickly. But once they're connected. Both of them really are just as good as one another because the minute you take them out of the case, you can hear that they, they connect straight away. Uh, there's no messing around or fiddling around once they're set up. So they're pretty comparable once they're actually out of the cases and already connected to your phone. Okay? Now, um, with the uh, AirPod Pros, um, they are, they've got the small tips, the medium and the large, and they do fit nicely in your ear. Uh, I have very small ears and I personally it's a huge thing for me when my AirPod, or when my um, either the AirPods or the Bose uh, Quiet Comforts, that they fit really nicely in my ear and stay there. Um, and while these have these little tips and they are very very light and they fit much better than the previous uh, Apple um, uh, AirPods that they have, um, I have found when I was using them sometimes that these can actually fall out. Um, so you know between the actual um, uh, the snug fit. Um, the bows have an addition um, where they have the extra little piece and they, they call it kind of like a, a comfort fit and that just goes inside your ear and then right up on the side. So they're very very comfy um, to have in your ear. You can leave them in all day and they won't fall out. So in terms of the ones which fit the best, um, bows also have the small, medium and large uh, fitments, but the Bose definitely win on that one. They stay in much more securely than the AirPod Pros. Now, 
Uh, other features which are, which are very good is the noise cancellation and transparency modes. So what that is, uh, noise cancellation cuts out all the noise, so you just hear your music. And the transparency mode kind of really gives you access to have the earbuds in your ears, but here, out and about and everything that's around you. Uh, these are the comparable models because these both have that feature. Uh, and they're a little bit different on each one. Uh, on the AirPod Pros, you will actually find um, that the, the transparency mode is very clear. You will hear, um, when you turn it on, the voices around you and your own a little bit more clearly. And you do that um, by just squeezing the side of the, of the, um, the earbud. Uh, and it's got a, like a, tap, a taptic uh, feedback where it, it, you feel it um, and it's nice and quick and easy to get in and out of when you want to listen to your music or hear what's around you. Um, and the noise cancellation on these are still very, very good. But if we go to the Bose, the Bose, the transparency mode is not as good as the AirPod Pros. Um, it's, it, you can hear clearly around you, but it's not as clear as the AirPod Pros. So they would win that on this angle. However, on the noise cancellation, the Bose by far wins. When you use um, these, and to turn that on, it's a little squeeze on the earbud here, but on the Bose, it's just a double tap. When you do the double tap, Bose are really known for noise cancellation, and there's no doubt about it that with these brand new ones too, they are holding that title to really cut out all that noise. Um, it's fantastic. So if you are looking at a headphone that you really wanted to go for something that cuts out all the noise completely for listening to music, Bose wins. But if you want something that, if you're going out and around um, and on based on this feature alone, and you want to hear what's around you and stopping your music quicker, uh, the Apples probably win a little bit on that. Okay, uh, you can use them both uh, on phone calls. You squeeze the ear on the right with the Apples to hear, uh, and the Bose, you just double tap uh, on the left uh, or the right to, to, uh, you actually, to answer your phone calls. Um, so both are very clear. I've spoken to different people on both of them and found that people can hear me very clearly on both of them. Uh, and really they're pretty, you know, like for like here uh, on those. Now, the next thing that's really important and one of the most important reasons why you purchase these, head these, um, these earbuds is the sound and the quality. And when you're listening to your music, you really want to feel engaged and right in the center of it to enjoy and love it. Now, they're very, very um, comparable. The AirPod Pros are great. Really clear acoustics um, when people are singing and the treble is very clear and very lovely. Um, the bass, however, isn't as deep. Whereas with the Bose, it may not be as clear with the treble, but the bass is much deeper and you have a much more sort of round sound feeling with the Bose. So if I was going to recommend in terms of sound quality, the Bose are just slightly, slightly further, further ahead um, than the AirPod Pros. They just have a deeper surround, uh, a more um, richer, fulfilling sound um, with these ones here than the AirPod Pros. But they're not far, the AirPod Pros are not far behind. Uh, they also sound really good. And you've got to actually really have both of them there to hear those comparisons. Um, if you, you know, choose the pair you go for, I don't think you'd re it would really alter your day in, in hearing those, uh, in alter your day in hearing those differences and, um, and really having that part there. But there's no doubt about it, the Bose have the better sound quality by far. Um, however, the AirPod Pros are, um, do look a little bit uh, smaller in your ear and they, aren't, they don't stick out as far. Um, so I'll give you an example if you see each one of these. Um, the AirPod Pro is just slotting like that, whereas the Bose go in, you push in to the little part, and then they fit in like that. So now you can see kind of exactly what the, the, um, the differences are between how, kind of how they look. Uh, they're both very stylish, both very nice, um, but a great, great little devices. Um, you're gonna get six hours of battery life with the Bose, um, just the earbuds. 12 hours extra with the case. You're gonna be getting 4.5 hours with the AirPod Pros uh, and the additional, I think around about 20 with the case. Um, so, 
I think those are the main differences. Uh, another thing I can tell you with the Bose is they have uh, a feature on your, an application on your phone, which you can use to change um, what the shortcut is on the left um, or the right earbud. Um, and that's bas basically when you double tap it, you can choose um, what you want that feature to do. One of them is answering the calls. Uh, one of them is noise cancellation or transparency. Um, and, uh, and the other ones is you can listen to the battery life uh, or you can fast forward to the next, next song. So um, it's got a little bit more functionality in terms of per customization with these. Um, however, uh, there's, not any, there's not really anything more that you need that the AirPod Pros don't give you. Um, and while they don't have their own application, they are really kind of fully synced um, within the, the, um, the iOS if you have an iPhone. Uh, or if you have a watch with the AirPod Pros, you can actually change the station uh, um, or the, um, the track on your watch. Or if you use the little dial, you can actually turn the volume up and down. Uh, whereas with the Bose, um, you would use your phone to do that. So the AirPod Pros kind of really fit in, in an Apple ecosystem that little bit better than the Bose, um, but the Bose are still very nice as well. So. I think that covers just about everything on both of these devices. Um, the Apple, you know, the transparency mode is better, better battery life, more portable. Um, the Bose have deeper, richer, better um, sounds and, are, are, and the bass is deeper. So you personally, the sound quality on the Bose is better, um, but they are a little bit bigger. The Apples are a little bit smaller. Um, so, you know, it's really going to come down to personal preference. If you're going for the best sound quality that you can get on either of these, you're going to go for the Bose. If you're going to go for the ones which are more portable and you still want great sound, but you don't want it to be as large and you want the battery life to go that little bit longer, then the Apple is going to be your one. Um, or if you have the Apple ecosystem, then with the iPhone and the watch, etc the Apples um, are still uh, have an extra feature or two on there which may swing that decision. Um, for me, I love noise cancellation and sound quality. And, uh, and that is why I personally am going to choose the Bose for myself. Um, but I may even keep them both because I also love the portability um, for the Apples as well. So um, I think that hits about everything. Uh, I hope this review was detailed and gave you every bit of information that you need to know of the differences between these. If you liked this, uh, you know, it takes time to make these and review everything. So please, please hit the like button. Um, it really helps the YouTube algorithm and subscribe so you can stay in tune for any further product reviews that we're going to do. Uh, we do ones for health. We do ones for productivity, aesthetics anything that betters your life that you can use around the home or out and about. Um, but we love doing this to help you because when I was trying to choose purchase, uh, purchase the products, I didn't always know where to look. So now you have a place where I've done all the research, learned everything, and can give you the shortcut straight away that you know everything and, uh, and can choose the best product for you. So um, let's put these away. They clip in just like that with your magnetic part, nice and easy. Close that up, Apple AirPod Pros in just like this. And then we are finished for today. Thank you so much for your time and it's uh, great to see you all and uh, can't wait to show you many more product reviews. I am going to be reviewing the Bose uh, Quiet Comforts uh, with the Sport uh, Buds uh, very soon, um, which are the, both of the new two latest ones they have. Um, but in terms of the top um, headphones and the best ones on the market right now, I believe these are the best two, and it's up to you to decide which one you'd like to go for. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.